I am Lefred, so welcome to this new video series, MySQL 101. It's MySQL for beginners. We will see during this, all these videos how to install MySQL on different platforms, how to use it, how to install the clients, MySQL Shell, MySQL Shell for Visual Studio Code, how to add data in tables, or to delete data, how to play with JSON data type, and so on. So stay tuned for extra videos, and let's start right now. Today we will see how to install MySQL Shell for Visual Studio Code. The first thing to do is to install Visual Studio Code if you don't have it already on your system. So here I'm searching for Visual Studio Code and install it for the platform you have. So I'm using Ubuntu, so I will download the .deb. You can do the same for RPM, same on Windows or Mac OS X. Visual Studio Code, it's an editor, very popular um, by developers. And here I keep installing it, so now that it's downloaded. And we, MySQL team, have developed a plugin to use, or an addition, to use MySQL Shell inside Visual Studio Code. So today we will see how to install that and how to start using it. So now that code is installed, I just launch it. So this is the first time it's launched, so I need to answer some question. It's done. So here I go in the marketplace and in the marketplace, I select MySQL shell. There are plenty of uh, plugins for MySQL and the one um, MySQL shell for Visual Studio Code is this one. It's the preview one by Oracle Corporation and you just click install. When it's installed, the installation wizard starts and you just need to follow the steps and it will install some certificates uh, to connect securely between code and shell. So the first thing to do is we say yes, it will run the installation for Linux. On Linux it's a bit different. So if there are some missing dependencies, it will install it, which is the case right now on my machine. And it will generate certificates to have a secure connection, so they have installed, between Visual Studio Code and the shell that will run in background. Now that is installed, we have a new icon here on the left, we can click it. We can create a new database connection. I will give a name, I will call it My MySQL. Host name is localhost, protocol MySQL, port 3306. So I will call it My MySQL Classic Protocol. The username. I will use root now, and it's there. You see, my, my MySQL Classic. I click, double click on it to start it. First time it asked me about the password. This is the password we added while we created the instance. It asked me if I want to save it. I say yes, and here we are. We are now connected on um, uh, our MySQL server using um, MySQL Studio Code. So we can see, show databases, we can see how, how it looks like. We can click here and see also the information about the, the schema we have access and table we have access. And we have also some MySQL administration where we can find the status, the connection, and all that kind of information that is very useful. So we can see here that we are using MySQL Community Server 8031. Um, that it's running and some information about the um, configuration and settings and the performance dashboard that is also very useful uh, to see. So as you can see it's very easy to install a MySQL shell uh, for Visual Studio Code and we will use it in the next videos when we will play with MySQL. Thank you, bye bye!